Have you ever had that feeling that you've done a ton of work and you've completed all these tasks, but have completely failed? Hey y'all, I'm James Wright and welcome to my shop. We are working on the table again. I know, the project that will never end. And unfortunately, this video is a little bit disappointing to me because I didn't get as far as I wanted to. But we're going to get everything up to the point of putting finish on it, and then I have to let you down. So let's dive in and take a look at it. Now it is time to take this apart for the last time before we take it upstairs. So next time this all comes together, it will be in its spot upstairs, and I'm really getting excited for that. But today we're actually going to be doing a lot of the detail works on this, and the first thing is the carving that's going to go in these diagonal stretchers. All six diagonal stretchers are going to have a bit of carving down the face of it. And my wife and I kind of went through a plan last night, and I came up with a design I like. So I want to show you some of the freehand uh, design work and a different way of transferring the drawing onto here. So let's uh, jump into that. Now, for the pattern, normally what I do is I go into Google Images and then I just find one I like and I'll size it to what I want in paint. Um, quick and easy, done, and I print it out. But for this one, my wife wanted a little bit more of like an elvish feel, um, kind of a Celtic weave with her own style into it. And so I found a few images on there that were close, but nothing that was hitting exactly what I wanted. So I started by just rough sketching out some ideas, and she said, I like this, I don't like that, I like this. And so then I refined them a little bit more into something of this shape. And then every time I just kept tracing over and over until I got the lines a little bit more of what I wanted. And we ended up with this pattern, which she really liked, and I kind of like as well. So we're going to put this onto the legs. And then we're also going to be doing a much larger pattern of this um, across the top center of the table. But that'll be coming in the future. So the problem here is I only have one of these. And I could use vellum or something like that and create six of these to the glue down like I normally do. But in this case, I actually want to transfer the lines to this. And we're going to do that with carbon paper which is an old method, it's an old system, but it works great for having one pattern to transfer it onto six different legs. So let's do that.
Last time I put screws in here because I broke one of them off and it was kind of an angry moment for me and I needed the screws in there to clamp this together so the screws actually supplied the force to glue this back together. Um, but after thinking about it and letting my brain cool down I realized I probably could have just used dowels on the other ones and so I'm going to be backing out all these screws and drilling out uh, holes for dowels to go in, pounding in dowels and that way I won't have any hardware in the table. <laughs> Let's do that. Now, these are basically shaped, they're done, they're ready for the final touches. So we're gonna go through all of the boards in the project and we're gonna clean them all out. We're gonna smooth them all out. We're gonna get them really nice and shiny, get rid of any dings or dents or tear out that's on these, make them ready. And if there's any marks on them, we're gonna be getting rid of those. So we're gonna be using a smoothing plane that I have set up. And this is set up really, really tight, a very tight mouth, chip breaker very close to it, extremely sharp, very light pass cut. Um, everything on this is dialed in as tightly as I possibly can. If you want to see videos on this, I'll leave a link to how I set up a smoothing plane. And this will allow me to even go against the grain in some places to get that final smoothing. And in the really, really difficult places, I'm going to be using a card scraper or a cabinet scraper and doing the final finish on this. Once I get that done, then we're going to come through and put all the chamfers on it. Then go through it all again, smooth it all out, make sure it's all ready for the finish. And at that point we apply finish. So, let's smooth this thing. So before we get on to the actual finishing, and we're almost there, <laughs> the last thing I need to do is actually put some epoxy into a few of these knot holes. Most of these boards are perfectly clear and no problem, but in order to get them all out of the stock I had, I had to leave some knots in here. And so there are a few knots, and one of them has a bit of a crack. I want to actually fill those in, so we're going to be using a little bit more of the eco epoxy, the same thing I used to fill the table. That liquid will soak into these and fill up the cracks really nicely. So let's tape them off apply some epoxy, and then get on to finishing.
Grazie. So there you have it, 21 pieces of the base. And I really wanted to get them to the point where I could finish them, but in order to get this video out in time, I had to stop short. I still have probably about five more hours uh, worth of final smoothing on all of these. I've got the chamfers on all of them, but I've got a lot more detail work before I actually put the finish on because I really want to spend the time and do this right. I'm gonna be using Rubio Monocoat and I'll be showing you that in the next video. So hopefully in the next video we'll be putting finish on this and possibly if I get it finished on the bottom of the tabletop itself. And then one more video and we're done. <laughs> so I'm really looking forward to this. I'm, I'm hoping it all comes together like that. We will, we will see how it comes. So if you have any questions or ideas, I'd love to hear those down in the comments below. I do want to say a huge thank you to the patrons on Patreon, as well as members here on the site who've clicked the join button down below. That really does help out this channel. Thank you for that. If you'd like to find out more, you can click the join button or click on Patreon. And that's about it. Until next time, have a wonderful day. Oh, wait, let me guess. You, you were expecting a joke here, right?